share a simplified version of the workflow from the previous issue. The advantage is that it is more accurate. You can generate a rendering of the specified logo, then automatically paste the map. This will reduce the work of our designers, who often use this logo to generate renderings. Compared with the last introduction, the workflow of specifying a pattern to generate a rendering is relatively complicated. Latest workflow. It is very simple and precise. And it's very simple. These are all directly default. This is a relatively large range. It is logo design. So no matter what picture you put here, he thinks you are a logo. Of course, if you want some graphics, you can modify this description slightly. It will use LoRa to automatically replace the image. This will achieve the effect of generating this effect with one click and keeping the pattern unchanged. I will introduce it in detail later. First, a brief introduction. I'm using the online mirror of Duana Quad. People don't want to deploy locally. If you want to use it directly online, just click on my mirror. I'm using this image now. So you don't have to worry about me running it now. What if you can't run? Because what I am showing you now is this online mirror. This boundary not only has this workflow, and all my workflows are here. All ready to use. No need to consider deployment installation model. No setup workflow, etc. The first one years. So this is very convenient. Everyone can use it directly online. Don't consider. Complicated installation process. In addition to some mainstream workflow functions of image, there are also some video generation. The current mainstream workflow, there are also voice, sound cleaning, and other workflows, or generate music, etc. My general collection workflow, here. these are relatively mature and practical workflows. I won't add workflows if they are not practical or mature. If you want to deploy locally, you can open my notes, click on Kung Fu Tutorial. We will jump to the workflow location. Click on the first flex in the image category. Consistency 10 types of IC LoRa, yes. Click on Download Settings. There is a model download of these 10 LoRa functions. Here is a brief introduction. There are also prompt words used, format reference. There are also size settings. Each one, two, introduction one. to the use of this LoRa. There is also a LoRa that is more commonly used in gray photography. If you add this, the color will be automatically removed, make the whole effect picture more concise. Here is a simple workflow. There are three workflows introduced. The latest one is this. Generating more accurate. And the workflow is more concise. More efficient operation. Below is an introduction tutorial of this workflow from the previous issue. There are also a workflow download. This is suitable for people who deploy locally. My notes. There's everything in that. All models are included. All mainstream models. All, all notes. There are also some common techniques or formats for prompt words. Or, what is the style of the prompt words? I don't usually describe the style of photography. But with this table, it's easy for me to go. We use this prompt word to correctly describe this style. There are also style prompts for various art schools. ETC, ETC. It looks simple here. 
However, including all. The node also contains all. All the nodes I use are here. You shrunk him in. He only has one, so it looks simpler. Okay, let's go back to this one, this workflow. This is a Laura He Will. You can understand. He will graph your reference onto this image. Then fill in your content to be generated here. Like a coffee cup. This logo is printed on it. The flux model is used here. Here is a flux model, so the raw picture effect is perfect. The following is just the whole operation process. Extract the image. Divide into left and right, plus the mask. Finally submit the workflow. Sample generation. All of my workflow. Type setting. There is a unified standard. Simply understood this divider into two parts, upper and lower. Each part is from left to right. This is a normal process. From here to left to right. From top to bottom. Then to the left. From top to bottom. This is very neat. It's clear at a glance. You know the order of the whole function. Then the following part. It's the one with Laura. A workflow for generating flux images from this model. Model to prompt word. To Laura model. Re prompt word. Then input it to the sampler. Last modified size. Generate. So I unified the arrangement. This specification. Very neat. Just the bullet. It's a mess and I can't understand it. This way it's very clear. From left to right, from top to bottom, all functional blocks. His arrangement is the same. From left to right is a general direction. From top to bottom, this is a process in each small block. In this way. Convenient for everyone to use. Be more efficient. At a glance, you know, here is from top to bottom, from left to right, from top to bottom, and from left to right. A big piece on top, and a big piece on the bottom, a large piece below. Finally, it is connected to this. So it's like this, ah. Uh. It's more convenient for everyone to use. Okay, that's it for this Let's episode. go play.